Hey guys, it's Cardella from Cardella.tk. So today, if you're looking for uh, some neat flips and tricks and stuff like that, this might not be the video for you. The reasons for that being when I went out to fly, I was getting winds about 20, 20 plus miles per hour. It was uh, the very beginnings of this giant storm that hit Houston this last weekend. And uh, if you haven't turned on the national news, it's, it's all over the place. Uh, here's some some actual video or some uh, images rather from uh, the highway, and there's another one. No, but in all seriousness, I believe there's uh, seven people that died. Over 1,200 people had to be rescued, and it, it's a it's a wreck. A lot of the highways were shut down, and it was really hard to get around. So uh, my thoughts and prayers are with the victims. But anyway, so this video that you're seeing behind me, it, it's pretty crap quality, right? That's the actual video that is transmitted into an FPV receiver or video goggles. Everyone who's thinking that you have an Oculus Rift and that's how you can con control your drone. I mean, you could do that, but the latency, you'd be unable to, to fly a racer like that. So this is the quality of the video that streamed directly into analog video goggles or a traditional FPV receiver. Why is that important? Well, a lot of FPV flyers, they'll they'll put a camera for recording, like a GoPro or something, like a Mobius, a Runcam, whatever, and then they'll put a board camera. The board camera, it, it transmits lower quality video, but it, it's much quicker. And then people usually just play back the HD video so their friends can, can relive the experience. This neat little method allows you to take the video from the FPV feed and lets you play it back. And when you do that, it, it can help describe to your friends like what you're actually flying off of. And you'll notice that there's like cuts in and out. That's uh, due to two reasons, I believe. I don't have a very uh, well-filtered power source on this FPV transmitter. And then the other reason being I, I have a diversity receiver. So it's there's going to be horizontal uh, shearing every time it switches from one antenna to the other. So anyway, uh, how do you do this? So here's my setup. It's great. It looks complex, but it's really not that hard. It's five parts. There's the FPV monitor. There is a little breakout cable to RCA that you plug right in the side. Comes with your goggles or your, your FPV screen. Then there's what's called an easy cap and micro USB on the go cable to attach your tablet, the fifth part, back to the easy cap. So what this does is it takes the analog video from the, the radio waves, converts it to an actual video, plugs it into the easy cap. The easy cap lets you record it on your Android tablet, your computer, whatever you want. So um, I, I've had great luck with easy cap viewer and then lollipop screen recorder. And this is a really simple setup. It lets you sort of slave your tablet to uh, this FPV screen, and then you, you can record uh, what you're flying, and it can also serve as a second screen in case people walk up while you're flying and they want to see what's going on. It also has the added bonus of saving directly onto the tablet. So instead of having to swap all these micro SD cards around after your flight, you're able to just immediately drop it onto your computer, drop it on YouTube, and share your flight. So I'm having a lot of uh, a lot of fun testing this out. So if you think that's a good idea. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for how you can buy your own easy cap. It's real cheap. It's about 12 bucks. If you were near enough to a Wi-Fi source, that, that would even let you stream to, to YouTube, Twitch TV, whatever you want. So uh, that, that'd be really cool. You could live stream your flights. Another idea is that you can set it up so that it records the audio from your tablet microphone. So I could have the tablet near me while I'm flying. And as I'm uh, running into stuff and cussing, you guys could could hear that in real time if I live streamed it on YouTube. So it'd be like a little Let's Fly episode. So uh, what else have I been doing? Because I'm I'm not updating very often. Well, I've got all of these projects that you can see behind me here. There's uh, all these helmets I've been working on. This Iron Man helmet and a Stormtrooper helmet. 3D printing the Iron Man helmet. And then I'm just finishing a resin cast of the Stormtrooper helmet. Episode 4 original. It's got the, the wonky asymmetrical parts of the stunt helmet from episode four. And then I'm also uh, in the process of revamping my WAN How duplicator i3 
and I'm building a, a server enclosure for it, which should be pretty high quality. So good things are afloat, y'all. All right, so uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe so you can see more of this craziness. Thanks, have a good day.